All right, today we're going to talk about naming acids. <clears throat> um, and so let's first define what an acid is. So acids are composed, are compounds that re release H plus or uh, hydrogen atoms in solution. Um, and so therefore acids must have hydrogen in the compound. <clears throat> so acids always have hydrogen in the first position. There are two types. So we're going to talk about binary, and then there's uh, one, ones also called oxyacids. Oxyacids have oxygen in them. Uh, they must be dissolved in water, and then binary passes follow this pattern when you name it. Um, it's hydro. You start with hydro, then you have the root of the of the um, compound. So you'll see, and then followed by ic, and then acid. So for example, here's we have HBr. Notice uh, the... The reason why we know this is an acid is because it has hydrogen in the first position. So we would call this hydrobromic acid. So you'll notice here we have hydro and then the ick. And then since it's for, for bromine, we put the root brome. So this is hydrobromic acid. Okay. So the next one, HCl would be hydrochloric acid. And then HI would be hydroiodic acid. Let me spell it out for you. So this hydrochloric acid. And then hydroiodic acid. These are called binary acids. Remember, we had binary compounds before. Because there's only two elements, one of them being hydrogen. Oxyacids, they're a little different. They have a polyatomic ion containing oxygen, uh, and then they also always have hydrogen. Um, so there's two different rules when it comes to um, oxyacids. The first is if the, the, the anion, the, the polyatomic ion, ends in ATE, you change it to an ic, and then acid is in. So you actually remove the hydro. For example, this is this polyatomic is sulfate, right? So therefore, we would call we change the ATE and we uh, change it to IC. So if this is sulfuric acid. Okay. All right. And then, um, let's go to the next one. If an oxyanion ends in ITE, the ending changes to OUS. So, this is sulfite. So, we would call this sulfurous, sulfurous acid change the ITE. Also notice you add like the sulfur part to it, okay? So this is be sulfurous acid. All right. So let's, uh, here's something to help you out. So eight, you change eight to ick, and then you, you want to change ITE to OUS. So that's a quick way of doing it. Remembering it, right? So A to ik, I to O U S. Okay, so let's name the following acids. You can hit pause and try it on your own. So uh, H F is binary, so it's going to be hydrofluoric acid. This one is C L O two. So remember, this is an oxyanion, so I'm going to have to figure out what ClO2 is. So ClO2 is chlorite. It goes to us. So this is chlorous acid. HiO3 is iodate. Iodate goes to ic, so iodic acid. HI is a binary acid, so this is hydroiodic acid. And then NO3, so this is going to be a 
because there's an oxygen, right? So this is a oxyanion. I look what I'll figure out what NO3 is. NO3 is nitrate, I believe. Uh, ATE, so this is uh, ATE goes to uh, IC, right? ATE goes to IC, so it's nitric acid. And then we're going to figure out this part we want to take some time, so um, <clears throat> oh, and then so the, I guess these are the, the answers, right? Hydrofluoric acid, chlorous acid, iodic acid, hydroiodic acid, and nitric acid. Um, we also want to be able to go the other way. So um, let me just give a couple examples. So let's do, if I gave you um, carbonic acid. So I'll give you all carbonic acid. What I would do is I would treat this almost like a, how we do a, a um, an ionic compound. For example, what I mean by that is uh, we always know that there's going to be an H plus, right, in an acid. Carbonic acid, if we work backwards, carbonic, ic, would be changed to ATE, right? So if we think backwards, IC means that it once was ATE, right? So if we look up carbonate, Carbonate is CO3, negative 2, which means we need... So if you look at this and now think of this as almost a ionic compound, this would be H2CO3. The reason why we need two H pluses is we want a plus 2 charge to balance out that negative 2 charge. Okay? So you should have to be able to go um, forwards and backwards as well. So if I give you hydro bromic acid... As soon as I see hydro, I'm thinking, okay, that's that's binary. So H plus, and then bromine is Br minus one. So it's gonna be uh, HBr. So now, be careful because if I said, okay, let's do bromic acid. As soon as I see that there's no hydro, I'm, I know this is an oxyanion. Okay, so we know there's going to be an H+, plus, but I know this is going to be a polyatomic. So bromic is going to be bromate, right? IC goes back to ATE. Bromate is BrO3-1, so this is going to be HBrO3. Okay? Uh, there's quite a few practice problems here that you can work on.